and welcome to the replay. I decided I was going to jump on and show people how I do some stuff. Don't mind all the rest of the stuff that we're dying back there. It's a mess. I know. And my, <laughs> <laughs> my breakfast that I never cleaned up after. Um, so I thought I would jump on and show you guys how I dyed my, um, what are they called? Thank you. My can our canvas pillow covers and whatnot. So Kyle and I, she said she wants to stay incognito. I think she's just a silly girl is what I think. <laughs> but um, we're going to do that. So let me just make sure I see my live to make sure it's working. There it goes. Okay. I know. And fun fact, it's a bonus that I just want to share this into my team page because I said I would do it for my team. So give me one sec. Hold on one second. Okay, whoops, how about I spell right? Well, I can't spell anything right here today. Okay, so we got that there. And let me share to my team page. There we go. Okay, so we are all good. I see myself on um, YouTube. I see myself on Facebook, so we're golden. Okay, hi guys. Okay, so I'm gonna get um, my camera angle all ready here. Um, I will not be doing all of the yapping that I do because I've already done my live for the day, so um, there's no need to do that. This is simply educational. Okay. So for anybody who wants to do this, okay. Um, just come on in. No sales are being done. So if you want to share this, you can, um, I'm not advertising anything. I'm glad I can stay in <laughs> incognito chance Doss says. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no sales. This is simply me sharing how I dyed my pillowcases, okay? So let's chat about what we're going to need. Now, if you want to lead an exciting quarantine life, you don't need, need gloves, okay? Obviously, in quarantine, we should all have gloves, so this is the perfect time to whip them out because you need them when you're dying. Otherwise, you're going to have all crazy color hands, and I don't know how long it takes to get it off, and I'm not experimenting, so I'm just saying there's that. You're going to need some dish soap. Okay, if this and I'm only telling you what I'm using for our canvas banners, canvas pillowcases, the pennant banners, that's all this is. So I'm not using salt. Um, if you were using some other fabrics like T-shirts and cotton and stuff, you would need to add some salt to it. I'm not doing that because that's not what I'm using. Um, I got a spoon to stir stuff and this is already a spoon that's, you know, been dyed a little. Um, I've got my writ dye. The first things we're going to do for this video, um, I'm only going to show you guys how I'm dyeing with teal um, because me and Kyle both have some things we want to make with this. So we're going to do the teal first. Now for up to three pounds of fabric, you would use half of the bottle, I believe. Um, we don't have three pounds of fabric, um, not even close. So I'm going to just go off of what I feel once I put it in. Now, what they say is you should use a paper towel and dip it into the water to test the color. So we're going to try that out. The other thing that I'm missing, and which I, after doing some research, I think why my black came out gray. Number one, I did not stir it for long enough. They set up to 45 minutes. I think I did 15. Um, number two, you should be using the color additive after it. And I don't have that. I did order it today, so I'll get it for next time but instead this time we're just going to keep on turning for 45 long minutes <laughs> but you're not going to see that part you're going to see you're going to see me do just the one color so let's go ahead and do this so the first thing you got to do whoops hold on the first thing we got to do is get our fabric wet okay so let me take out i want to do i'm going to do a nine by seven hanging banner okay and i'm going to do oops 
I'm going to do the 9 by 7 hanging banner, the hanging pennant banner. I'm going to do, I think Carl has got the lumbar pillow. And I'm going to do a hanging, a regular hanging banner, the, the smaller of the two sizes. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the, these nice and wet. And I'm going to take my watch off so I don't ruin my eye watch. I'm not greeting you guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible for information purposes, okay? So I'm going to just get this all wet. Now these, the pillowcases um, definitely take a little bit to get nice and wet. Holy cow, there, my water is already super crazy hot. And it would help if I turned it on cold instead of turning the cold water off. Um, now you, they do, oh God, hold on, that's way hot. Can I like get this right? There it goes. Um, they do suggest boiling, well, like really hot water or boiling water. I'm not using boiling water. Our water gets hot enough as it is without that. Like, seriously, my hands are so dried out from how hot our water gets. Okay. So once I get our fabrics, like, good and wet, both sides. Um, forget where the zipper is on this one. Here it goes. Okay, like, I'm even going to open it up from the inside to help get it wet. Um, I learned that with the last pillowcase that I tried to do because I felt like it took me 9,000 years to get it wet. Um, because, like, they just, I don't know, they're really good at, like, not soaping up, soaking up the water, right? So, just really going to work on this one. And I'm making a mess all over my backsplash, so don't mind that. I want to have it good and wet. Okay. Now, I'm going to move over and do the same thing with my little 9 by 12 hanging pennant banner. I'm going to get it real wet. Hi guys. Oh, Melissa Garcia, I'm so sorry for your loss and for all of Chalk Couture's loss for Molly. I'm praying for her family. I know you, you got close with her at, at um, Chalk Con. Hi, Allie. All right, that's one good and wet. Now let me do my hanging banner. This is the, I think it's 15 by 23 is this size, I think. And the other one is what, 21 by 27? I hate when my sweatshirt cuffs get wet. Man, and I'm... All underneath of it is wet. Gives you a chill. Okay. It's not a super fast process, you guys. So I'm going to suggest if you're going to do it, do a few things at once. Like, hence my mess on the back. We've got all the stuff that we're gonna dye, why not get it done, right? I'm doing it in anticipation of some of the stuff coming from our summer celebrations, plus some other things that are in our spring summer catalog, right? Okay, all right, so we're good and wet here. Now, okay, hold on. Obviously, I don't know how to work a faucet still. So now I'm going to get my water nice and hot, okay? Um, why dry my hands? Because they're only going to get wet again. No big deal. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, that's good and hot. All right, so it says three gallons of water. We don't have that much. I'm not using three gallons of water. But I'm going to use, I'm going to fill it up pretty much to the top here, okay?
Hi guys, see I'm, I'm dyeing our, some of our canvas pillowcase covers, hanging banners, and pennant banners today with some rip dye to get it all ready. Um, to get it ready to rock and roll. Now this is where we should probably get our gloves on because if I don't do it now, I'm likely going to forget. You do not want to die without gloves, you guys. Hold on, let me take my rings off. Kyle, when I go nuts looking for my rings later, will you tell me where they are? She's lingering right over here. You guys just can't see her. <laughs> can hear her. All right, let's get the gloves on. Okay, I think that is going to be enough water. Yeah, it sure is. Could you fill sink with water and so oh, I would never do that, Janine, because if you have a white sink, ooh, you're going to dye that sink. Stick with a, uh, a big bucket or a big giant pot. This is like our stock pot. So it's, it's pretty deep and legit. And it took black and cleaned up nicely. So I'm okay with using that. And I cleaned the heck out of it um, to make sure that it was safe. Okay. No problem, Kristen. Yes, I won't lose my ring, George, I promise. Hi, guys. Okay, so I've got my gloves on. I've got my crazy hot water. They said to just do one pump of soap, dish soap. So I am doing just did one pump of dish soap. Now I'm going to add my Rit dye, okay? So where part of me, I, I'm so glad I'm starting to get myself out of this horrible habit where I want to bite everything off. Thank you for making me not do that anymore. Okay, just take your time and work it off. Now, get it in the trash so it don't stain anything. All right, so I'm going to add probably about a quarter of this bottle into it because I want it to be teal but not like blue. Like I want it to be more of like a pretty green teal, kind of like the bottle. Okay, so what you have to do first is stir it around and then you want to test out your color by putting a paper towel into it. Okay, so don't put it near your fabric yet, that spoon. So I'm just going to dip the, this in and that is way too blue for me. I am not happy with that color. Let me just keep it there for a second just to see. Yeah, that looks way more blue than teal to me. Right, Kyle? Mm -hmm. You agree with that, right? Okay, good. Let's put more in. Like, it looks almost like a light blue. It still looks a little blue. Hopefully with just keeping it in there, maybe that'll make it more teal. I'm about half the bottle down. So I'm hoping that with stirring it, it'll get that teal color. Yeah, let's see. And I'll test with my, um, here, you know what you can do? Do you want to move the stuff over to this side, please? Wait, hold on one sec. Just a little drip in the sink. Yeah, that way I don't accidentally get any of the color on there because I'll test out on mine okay. first. Okay, let's see. Thank you, ma'am. It's more blue. It is. Well, let's see once we keep it in there for a while. I'll experiment with mine first. Okay, so mine is... Hi. Who's that, Mikey? Oh, hi, Bob. So I'm going to just wet that one more time. Okay. <laughs> all righty so here goes so i'm gonna put it inside the pot yeah it does look really blue right but see look when you pull it up yeah i know it's weird right so now i'm gonna just start mixing until i get my desired color they say anywhere from 10 minutes to 45 minutes to achieve the desired color you want so i am just gonna stir 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 If it was the right color that I thought, 
I would put everything in at once and just keep on stirring, but I don't want to, I don't want to make the wrong color yet. Oh, that's hotter than Hades. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah, I was going to try and like just reach my hand in there and do it. No, don't do it. Way too hot. It is intentionally poking the bear. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry I am not um, saying hello to everyone. This is just a quick inf inf informative, God, I can't talk, informative live today, how I dyed my stuff. Do you have something to put that in when it's done? No. How about, can you think of something like that? Yeah, how about we grab, um, I'm trying to think what we got. Do I have, um... Like a clear, like a something else to like, oh, Kyle, I got an idea. What about my farmhouse thing over there? I don't mind if it gets a little color in it. That thing. This? No, the handle one on top of the thingy. Uh, what's that, the shredder? This? What about if we stick it inside that? All right. Got cakes on it. Yeah, a little brand's cake mix. We could take that out. Okay. Keep on stirring, you guys. Oh, I gotta lift my glasses up. Oh, I really wanna just reach in and do it, but I can't. Oh, it's too hot. Yeah, we'll just stick it inside that. How's that? And then it's easy for us when it goes to comes time to go throw it in the washer. Thank you, George. Johnny says, hey, Kyle. Hey, Johnny. It's not a fast process, you guys. I'm just going to let you know that. It is not a fast process at all. How's it, it looking? Oh, okay. I like that color. Yeah. That's for sure. I just want it to be <gasps> a little bit deeper. Okay. So it's weird. Like, it's starting to look teal, mm -hmm. which is really cool. So you can... You can see how it's starting to go, and I need to, gosh, it's super hot. Don't touch us over here, Oh, we're not touching anything, babe. We're, we're doing a video. No, I know. I'm going to get my throat over my eyes. Aw, Amy, you're so sweet. I love when you can catch my lives, too. This is just an informative live. That's all this is. There is no selling, no nothing on this live. I just want people to see how I do this. It is so hot. I can't believe it's It's so hot. <laughs> it's like, I just want to be like, hmm. Is it dying the spoon? Yeah. Just, yeah. Which is super fun. Hmm. It's a fun color. I wonder if it would keep on wood. I have all those wooden spoons and stuff downstairs. That would be fun. Yeah. Look how pretty that color is. Yeah, it's really getting Yeah, that's the color I want. So it's like more it's got to go in for. Yeah, we should have timed it. Oh, crap. I didn't Next think of that. Batch. Next batch. We sure will. Oh, Marie, I did. I shook it up. I shook it up before um, we went live. It was shaking, and from my big butt, jump jiggling up the steps with it and choking. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm gonna live vicariously through you. Oh, that is such a pretty color. Oh, it's coming out nice. Look at that. I really like it. Oh, keep on stirring, you guys. I need to suck it up, Buttercup, and just get my hand in here. No, I can't. I can't even go down more than three inches. Like, it's so flipping hot. It feels like it's boiling water. We have a, a brand new hot water heater from when we did the basement over the summer. Your skin is scalding after being in a bathtub. And we lowered it. And then I was like, after washing, like, when we would wash dishes, it would feel like it was getting cold, remember? Mm -hmm. And then, like, trying to fill up the bathtub, I'm like, oh, no. I want a nice hot bath. So we upped it.
Don't dye my sweatshirt. It will stain or it won't stain the sink? Um, I, when I did it last week or whatever, I, as soon as I was done, I washed it and it, and it was out. good. Yeah, it came right out. I don't know if I would prolong it sitting in there. Yeah. Heck no, but a splash here or a splash there, I think we're okay. Like, I keep doing it. So, Mary Beth, it, when I washed the black, that color faded. But I think it's because I did not keep it in long enough. If you had the color additive to add, I think that's what it's called, uh, a color additive, you're supposed to do it right afterward. I didn't buy it. I didn't know. I didn't research anything until after I got everything. I was like, oh, crud, I probably should have bought that. Um, I believe it helps the color stay. So what's the other thing is, is I have to figure out how to get my washer to be cold water only. I think if you wash it in cold water only, that'll help keep it. Because you just have to wash it the one time as soon as it's done. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, look at that color, you guys. Oh, yeah. Is it looking even? Looks pretty even. Yeah. I feel like right here it needs it a little yeah. bit longer. So let me get it sitting more. I think maybe just a few more minutes for this one, and I'm happy with that color. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to get gloves on. Okay. They, um... I'll just use the purple ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say they're... I'm just going to try and, like, remember real quick. I'm like, where did I just grab them from? This way I can grab it from and put in here. Yeah. So see, it's not that bad, you guys. It's really not. Hi, Cheryl Shepard. Missed you live this morning. Glad to catch you. Oh, yeah, you came on right at the end. I had yelled, oh, hi. Happy Easter, Cheryl, I think I said. Right towards the very end when I had put up my logo. Gosh, that's such a pretty color. Yeah, I am super happy with that color. I'm good with that for this one. Okay, so what we need to do after we are done with it, what we'll do is we'll get them all in there, and then we have to rinse the excess color out. Okay, so I'll put that one there for now, and then we'll come back to it. So uh, that's a lumbar pillow. Can, can we do both? Yeah, we could do time? both at the same time. We sure can. Right, just yeah, plop it in. And I'll just start twisting around. We'll just open, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're going to keep on going. And what we can do is if you want then, while we got this you want me to rinse done, it? yeah, you want to rinse the other side. So you're going to see Colleen. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. I was going to say we froze. So Colleen's got the purple gloves. And Shh. hot or cold? Um, I would do warm, maybe. Warm. Um, she is going to be rinsing. So what you want to do is you're going to rinse it until all the water runs clean. I want to say when I did the other ones, it took me about five or six minutes. Right, right, we're having some freezing issues on my end. Sorry, guys. Can you ring it? Yeah. If you can get it to ring, go with, go with it. See how, yeah, you see how the water is coming? Oh, yeah. That is so pretty. Just went all over my sweatshirt, I think. This thing flicked up at me. Still warm and blue. Yep. It, it was like five minutes okay. when I did it before. Like, it took a little bit of time.
So as you can see, Kyle is still rinsing. It's still, that some of the dye is still coming out of it. Okay, so she is just going to keep on going. It's getting pretty clear. Yeah. So once it gets clear, that's when it's time to put it to the side. And you, we are going to go and we'll wash it when we're all done. We'll do all of them at the same time. Um, actually, no. All of the teal at the same time. I would not wash all the colors at the same time. Especially if you don't have the color additive. Oh, I don't know if I would do that. Hold on, I gotta flip this open for a sec. And flip it around. It was gain taking water and not wanting to sink. This one ran clear. Oh, it's such a pretty color. Look at that, you guys. Look how gorgeous that color is. Oh, I love it. And these are coming along. Oh, I'm going to clean that out because there's blue in there. Oh, okay. And actually, I am going to spray because I am splashing all around in the sink. And I'm going to, oh, it would help if I turn the water on. And I want to make sure that it does not stain my sink. But here's a fun fact that I did find out last time. Um, the board eraser, if you have a stain that stays, the board eraser took the color up. We're starting to get there. We're going to do these for a few more minutes, though. Make sure we get it. Well, now my hands are just numb from the heat. So I can keep on doing it. Hey, Bob. Can you come in here real quick and minimize um, some of my chat threads? I can't. Me and Aunt yeah. Colleen both have wet hands. I can take it off. I Are you sure? Which one? Are you, sure? you see both of them. Um, that one and that one. Yeah. Hi, babes. We're live, just FYI. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> to the live nation. Wow, that's starting to get so pretty. I need to spread it out a little more because I don't want it to get even. It's so funny that the zipper piece isn't mm -hmm. picking up. Isn't that hysterical? And that thread. Yeah. In the banner didn't even... I wonder what it is. Look, guys, this piece of the zipper, it's not changing color. It's too funny. Hey, dudes. Good luck. <laughs> it's going to go out. Isn't it pretty, guys? <laughs> oh, yeah, Cheryl. Uh oh. Crap. Um, hold on. So if you just pull it, to, can you pull it down, the, um, from the top? Here, you know what? Let me do it. Right. That way. Yeah. There it goes. Hopefully, I'm not going to my hands. I hope I pulled it inside out the right way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what time it was. Hold on. You want me to do it? If you want to, yeah. And then let me, let me, uh, I'm gonna have to go, I think, with a, a purple glove. Bubba, get, grab a purple glove for me, real quick. Yeah. Right. The right one. Just one. I only need one. Thank you, man. There you go. Hello, Jan. Hi, Shirley Hess. Thanks, Nance. Holy. My hands are too so bad for these gloves. So you just kind of circle it to... Yep, that's it. Make it like a washing machine. Yep. That's it. Oh, that is looking so pretty. <gasps> I love it. Yes. Yeah, see how the... The, the thread. thread. Yeah, it's so funny. The thread is not dying either. Okay, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. Make sure that's all. You want to? Yeah, I'll come back in. I'll jump back in. And then that way you can uh, rinse when you're ready. Let me know. You want me to keep going with yours for a little bit, or are you happy I with think your color? I'm good. Yeah? Okay. All right, so I'm going to give, pass over the lumbar pillow to Kyle. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's going to be so good, especially with the black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, ma'am. I'm passing the baton to you. I'm going to keep on going with this one to see just how much deeper I can get it. Hey, Carolyn. idea of how it's going to match well with the black. Oh, yeah. Oh, I likey. I likey a lot. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look at that color. And to think that was just a plain canvas hanging banner, you guys. Oh, I love it so much. going to be so awesome. Just want to keep it moving in here. So that way one piece doesn't get extra color than another color and it looks lopsided. That is so gorgeous. I love it. It really is, isn't it? And now Kyle is in this side sink because now I screwed it up by having to put on a purple glove. <laughs> um, and she's rinsing it until the water runs clear. And you can see that it's still Yeah, you can see that it's still coming like blue. Yeah. So you want to keep on rinsing. And I'm not ignoring people. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay focused and on task here. But hello to everybody watching. This is simply an informative way that I have learned to use the rip dye to dye our canvas banners, the pennant banners, and pillowcase covers. There's a little brand in the background. <laughs> Gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So this got us half the bottle is the color that is how we achieved this. And we used a lumbar pillow, a 15 by 23 hanging banner, and the 9 by 12 banner. So I have a question. Yes. Could you, if you had like an old milk bottle, store that in a milk bottle? I don't know that answer. We could try. Do we have an old milk bottle? I don't know. Or a nice tea, like a gallon jug. I don't know. We could test it out though. And save it and reuse. You're not wasting. Yeah, we could try. I wonder if it doesn't, if the, if it gets less pigmented though, because it's not hot water. Mm. I don't know. I mean, whatever yeah, I we would know. do, like, I, I don't know what would happen if you put it in the microwave. If it was in an actual microwavable container. So they have to that, is that still or hot? Or I wonder, yes. Oh, it's still hot. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you just heat it up, pour it into the pot and heat it up with freaking fire. I, I don't know. Be careful. We're going to have to Google that. Okay, yeah, we there. should. We definitely it seems should. Like having a waste, having to, like, I know, put it down right? the drain, you know? Yeah, agreed. Oh, that is looking so good, you guys. Check that out. It's hard to see with this light in the light on the camera. It's blue, but I assure you, it is like an aqua teal, I would say. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, and I think I'm good with this color. I think I'm super happy. Yes. Let's try this one now. Yeah, now that you said that, I almost don't want to dump this. I don't know. Hey, Brian, can you check in the recycling oh, camera right here and see if the gold peak? 
Is that, a, is that a, too small? You think? Yeah, have that in the recycling. Yeah, see if there like a gallon iced tea or milk. That? What about that one? You, that, could do, you could fill both of them, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. We're going to see what happens. Can yeah, can you grab it out for us, Bubs? And I'll clean out the, um, oops, I can't touch. I'll clean out the iced tea one. Do you have, okay. a, do you have a funnel? Great question. Yeah, yeah, here's the, I don't think so, but you know what I could do? All right, the cap out here. Oh, oh, bummer. Okay, wait, where'd you throw the cap out? I'm not, I'm not diving. Down. Okay, that's fine. No, no. I'm looking to see if there's another yeah. one on there. Is there another okay. one around here? I'm sure we could. You know what? I could even just put. No, not that one. That's too small. Here, hold on. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I, you have one of them in the bathroom. See if there's another one. It's right here. It's right on the top, dude. Still. There we go. All right. All right. Do you want to switch? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to. Grab this real quick and I'll shake it up. There you go. Is anybody commenting? Does anybody know if you can store it? Uh, I don't see anybody saying that. Will the color stay the same when it's dry or lighten up again? So Cheryl, that's why you need the color additive, which I don't currently have. Um, part of me almost wants to just say, heck, let's just hang it out to dry since we don't have it and see what happens. Right? Yeah, you washed the last ones that you I did. Either, right? I did but the coral. Oh, the yeah. coral? The coral stayed. The, stayed? the okay. coral did stay. The black, not so much. Mm -hmm. And I also shrunk them a little bit. Whoops, a daisy. Because it was warm water. It was warm water. Not cold. Correct. And did you notice that when you try to put the washer on that it doesn't go cold? It doesn't go cold. Yeah, yeah it's like hot as heck. I wonder if they set that up wrong when they did it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Good. Yeah. Oh, you're good? Yep. Yeah. Right, so we're going to attempt saving this. I don't know if this is going to be a real thing, but we'll try it out. And next week I'll dye another little pennant pattern. We'll see, see how long happens. it stays. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, they all look pretty even to me. This one looks a little more dark. Yeah. A greener. And wait, is that, that the one the I just one that, that was in. the first one really? So yeah. maybe I kept it in longer. I don't know. That's random. Unless maybe it took up more of the dye because it was in all by itself. It was, and it because yeah, it was the first piece in and it was darker. Yep. Or yeah, more strong. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm attempting to pour just by itself. That's without a funnel. Pretty well. All right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, there's that one. What you need back? Oh, no, I'm just looking. Are you trying to see what we're doing? I'm going to try to save it. Yeah. It seems like a waste to just dump it down. And then just get a, um, like a cardboard box and store them in there or something. Right? We have plenty of those, don't yeah. we? <laughs> yeah. You know right. what? I could pour a little more in that one, and I think we'll be good. We'll see what happens. We'll test the theory yeah. next week. I mean, why not, right? Yeah. This lid. You got that, and then here's this lid. I'll dry them off. Okay, cool. And I'm going to dump this so we can move on and do the rest. And I'm going to rinse out the sink real quick because I don't want any color lingering in my white sink. There's a little bit over here, too. So. Okie dokie. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to spray you. Okay, I think we got it all. So guys, that's how it goes. We're gonna test out, um, maybe just not putting them in the washer. And because it's not like... Just put them out on the... Yeah, but put them the out, yeah, out front or out back and just let the direct sunlight dry them. You're supposed to wash them. I may not do that because I don't want to take the chance on the pretty colors that we did. I'll help them out. Yeah, we'll go hang them outside and I'll post pictures later once they're all dry. Will they be all right on your railing? I think so, right? right I mean, we rinsed around. all the color off and it's a black railing. Oh, you got to get your pasta? Oh, your yes, here, bub, I'll do that. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys to show you how to do it. Thanks, bub. Um... Gray is not a good color to reuse. Ah, oh, thank you. Some. Oh, wait, here we go. Debbie Green is commenting something. Hold on. Let me 
Ow. Let me try and salvage my gloves since I'm going to be doing a few things. And, you know, gloves are a hot commodity right now, especially if we have to go out. So hold on. I don't want to wreck them. Hold on. Okay. Debbie Green said... Salt and vinegar is also used to set the color if you don't have additive. Very good, Darlene. Thank you for sharing that with us. Some colors you can reuse. Sometimes there is some thickening in the bottom, but works fine. So good to know. It's been years since I've used Rit Dye, and I'm sure they've revamped the components since I used last. <coughs> Debbie Green said, um, some colors you can reuse. Sometimes there's some thickening in the bottom, but works fine. So if we just shake it real good. Mm -hmm. maybe. And then Darlene said salt and vinegar is also used to set the color if you don't have additive. See, salt and vinegar on their Rit Dye website, they said to use for nylon, rayon, cotton. cotton, and a few other types, but none of them were, were canvas. So that's why I didn't put it in. Um, so hopefully that'll that's going to, you know, make it work. We'll report back. Um, they're out now in the sun. Yeah, and they're they're out in the really sun. Yep. So we'll, um, we're going to keep on dying here, but I'm going to end this video. Um, but just wanted to share how we've done, how I did it and how me and Kyle are doing this. Um, De Debbie Green said she reused a couple times. She's had no problems. Starlene said maybe iron and heat set it like t-shirt dye would work if the lines dry. That's what I was thinking. I was going to dry it and iron it. And I was hoping that that would help as well. So, um, and then of course, maybe some Febreze if we have to, if it's got, I, it doesn't have a smell to it. Like the dye does not have a smell. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. So that's it guys. Um, thanks so much. I hope this was informative for you. Um, you're so welcome for the demo. No problem. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another project and we will go from there. All right. Bye guys. Bye.